Robert Seymour decided to take a scenic bike ride along Ocean Drive. But since he's from out of town, he didn't exactly know that part of it is under construction and there's no bike lane. Obviously the, the cars are right there. It wouldn't take much if someone wasn't, wasn't paying attention or just, you know, for me to have a, try to avoid a rock or a pothole or something, it wouldn't take much to, you know, meet. Back in July of 2016, Andy Hines, the AEP spokesperson here in town, was riding his bicycle down SPID near Paul Jones when he was struck and killed by a hit and run driver. That accident sparked a call for new safety measures. City Councilman Mark Scott was one of those folks who took the issue and ran with it. That was the event, I think, where the community went, we're done. We need to provide protective bike lanes for bicyclists. And I think Andy was the cause of that. Hines was remembered on this day in this ceremony, not too far from the accident scene. AEP named this substation after their longtime employee and even installed this racing bike memorial for him. He took a lot of pleasure in it and biked all the time, but there was a concern always that, you know, sometimes the drivers around weren't super aware of bicyclists and not as safe as they could be. Um, so I think it's lovely to hear that they've got more bike lanes now. Robert Seymour says he'd like to see more bike lanes like this one all around town. And matter of fact, he'd like to see bike lanes all across the state of Texas. You know, with the bike lanes, that would just make it safer because obviously people have a, uh, that probably keeps a lot of people back from riding bikes and getting out is because uh, of the danger of getting hit. Now, the Corpus Christi Metropolitan Planning Organization is keeping track of the number of bike lanes we have and need in the future. It also has an entire plan to promote the use of bikes for work and pleasure. By the way, Mr. Seymour did eventually make his way safely out of the construction zone and onto one of those nice and wide bike lanes that helped to keep him and every cyclist safe. Michael Gibson, 3 News.